Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. Today as you can see here Asus X501, quite old laptop. It comes with Windows 7, so when it came out, Windows 7 was the most popular one. Okay, Core i3, 4GB RAM, glossy 15 inch screen. Absolutely it was brilliant that time, but for now, for 2020, this is quite old. But I don't want to throw it because of this is super slow. So what are you going to do? We're going to show you how to upgrade it to SSD. So in this occasion, I go Kingstone 120 GB. All right. So I will show you how to insert it inside and reinstall the system. So we're going to get the better speed. So one more time, we're going to check out the model number. This is ASOS X501. Okay. So that's the one. So let's start. First of all, what you need to do? We must need to take out the battery. All right, that's the first job. Second job, to take out all the screws. Make sure you organize the screws. Okay, so left one should be on the left, right one should be on the right. Okay, so let's start. I always like the Philips, this screwdriver. Quite handy grip, you know. So I'm going to start from the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, all of them. I'm going to show you one in the video and I'll pause the video just to save the time, you know, there is no point. So example, as you can see here, one, then if you take out the bottom one, just do like this, two, and if there is in between cams, of course, we're going to put it like that. One second. Three, like that. Organize it that way. So, that's all the screws that we have from here. The last one could be under this bed. But luckily, there is nothing. Which is absolutely fine. Because normally, HP like to hide screws underneath the pad. Okay? Just to make sure there is no screw left over. We're going to open up and check. Sometimes they could do it. No. Good. Asus is fine. Take a flat tool. Open it up like that. And start spudgering it from here. You can see it's coming up. Popping out from the actual... good lift it up other side do the same job when you come next to the wire mesh I mean the plastic mesh you need to be very careful because those are really really dry and easy to break because of the heat sink you know Check it out if there is anything now. So let's check it out if there is anything left. No, I don't see anything else. Let's check under the pad. No, it's good. Okay, no problem. Good. Yeah. Good. 
now it seems uh, came here lift it up slowly just to find out what is the flex is okay the flex we can see on the top side so we're going to lift it up like that okay as you can see that is the actual connector take out from the latch next is this so that is free All right. put it on the side and that is the actual hard drive which is bro broken and very very slow so what are you going to do we're going to replace it disconnect this flex either from this side or that side doesn't matter gently take out the glue adhesive and this one this one secured with minimum two screws which is right here and there fine okay let's push it downwards and lift it up all right so now I'm going to leave it like this as you can see this is secured with four screws one two three four you must need to unscrew it first one two three four now check the position don't mess it because it has to be in the same position hold it like that and put the screw back on you know always um, SSD much more slimmer than ordinary 2.5 inch hard drive so make sure you put all the screws back one two four screws right here it's already assembled now same way apply first this side so other way around okay so first this side and then just click it from the back to the front okay and connect it back Good. And now don't forget to put it back this too. One. Two. Okay, that's done. Now we can put it back this back cover. Okay. It's always get like sticky here. So open it up completely, then you're gonna have some room. To connect it properly can you see the white line has to be straight okay and then this is the one okay Done. and then nicely put it back
just check it out. Sometimes it doesn't slip properly. We can see everything is fine. There is no gap. Now I'm going to show you why you need to open as the screw. So now I know this one goes here. As you can see, two of them little bit taller and rest of them shorter. Because those are close to the hinge. Just to hold it properly. Rest of them same in size, so don't worry, just you just need to put it back. So that's how you replace the hard drive. Now you just need to reinstall the windows on it. If you have any difficulties how to get into BIOS and change uh, the boot option from you know internal boot to USB external boot, you can check my another video. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the description. And if you do have any question regarding this ASUS X501A make sure you leave it in the comment section i will try my best to make the answer up and thank you so much for your time into my channel and i hope i will see you in the next video bye for now